Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Gun Survivor. When we last left off, uh, we got to our last final um, choice section where we can pick where to go next. Uh, we might as well do all of them. Uh, th uh, pff, they really just phoned it in here. Uh, these are like probably the shortest sections in the game. Uh, we can go through a rocky path. We can go through a underground path. Or we can go through the woods. There are sections. Um, now, if we go through this way, we literally just have one straight long path to go through. It's literally inhabited by four Mr. X's. Um, yeah, or T-103s, depending on what you want to call them. Uh, and that's your only enemy here, which is kind of strange, really, when you think about it. This isn't really the path that I would choose, because these Mr. X's... Ooh, there's a landslide there as well, without... Uh, or rock slide, I should say, without actually any... Um, <laughs> any sound effects there. Interesting. Not really sure if that happens on the actual PlayStation as well, if that's just an emulation thing. Not really sure. So, these four Mr. X's here, they're kind of pointless fighting them, really, because for some reason, not really sure why. Oh, he's going to barge. Dick. And again, dick. Uh, for some reason, these ones don't drop anything. I have no idea why. Uh, otherwise this would have been the obvious choice but uh, hey ho I guess these are rejects or something as you can see he's gonna drop down nothing there at all but we don't need to waste off all of our bullets anymore although pretty sure wasting off our bullets yeah is a lot quicker than actually just going through the menu it is it's probably gonna really blow our accuracy though now, we've got another one here. Interestingly enough, if you back away long enough, yeah, he will lose interest in you, which, again, is really freaking weird. There's like a little gate here, a little checkpoint, if you will, where he'll stop being interested. So, yeah, you can really see they, they just phoned it in. Not really sure why they didn't put any more effort into this, but you can see as well he doesn't... He doesn't drop anything. There's nothing here either. It's just literally a straightforward rocky section. Now we should have another one. Up and around here. Yeah, we can hear him. Come on, big boy. And again, if we back away far enough, he should eventually lose interest in us. Oh, apparently he isn't. Yeah, there we go. There's his little um, aggro area. I suppose these guys are just set up to guard certain areas. If you get close enough to him, he'll get a little bit more interested. But yeah, as soon as you hit that area, he's going to say, fuck this shit, I'm going home. Unfortunately for him, he's not going home, though. He is uh, going to die. The only way he's getting out of here is with a fucking body bag. Get out of here. And again... Yeah, he doesn't drop anything. Uh, yeah, I, uh, not sure why. It's kind of really lazy. Can you imagine, though, if all of these guys dropped stuff? Would have been pretty wicked. Now, the last 103 is here. Just back away from him. I think, yep, this is, if we get, like, halfway over the bridge, he loses interest as well. Like, they, uh, they didn't even try here. It was actually, when I was replaying this, I thought this was actually really disappointing. Yeah, I don't know if they run out of budget or, oh, he's going to charge, yeah. And he's going to charge again, but he will lose interest once we're further enough away. You know, considering this isn't actually the way we're going to be going, I suppose we could have a little bit of fun with it, couldn't we? Uh... Let's get the grenade launcher out. Why can we not equip the grenade launcher? There we go. Okay, not really sure what was going on there. Now, one thing I like about the grenade launcher in this game 
it's a good old return to form where it fires, uh, you know, multiple shells. It's like a splinter grenade sort of thing, cluster grenade, if you will. Uh, and on that note as well, uh, it's kind of strange because, as you can see, that took like four shotgun shells after a load of, uh, four grenades after a load of bullets. It's really not very efficient to kill them with grenade shots. Oh, we're out. Okay. Yeah, really is not efficient at all. Like, I... I don't know why you would. Let's try. And it goes without saying as well, I really don't like this menu system. It's, it's clunky. There we go. Let's use some flame grenades. Again, it takes like three flame grenades or possibly even four, depending. Um, yeah, it's really not worth using these at all on the enemies but you know we're not going to go that way anyway now let's go back so if we go through the underground path uh, again they really have just phoned it in here yeah man there we go so this is a very dark area if you can't see what's going on here yeah, neither can I, so don't worry about it. There's, I think, two liquors down here, and that is literally it. It's pointless fighting them. Absolutely pointless fighting them. So, we're not going to bother. Now, this area, if it's the area that I'm thinking of... No, it's not. I was going to say, there's a few enemies here that we might as well fight. In fact, let's prepare. Uh, shotgun. Sure. Why not? Why the devil not? Because this area does get a little congested with hunters. And because there's so many hunters, it's quite difficult. Grab the acid rounds. It's quite difficult to actually... move on through these guys because they will block the door which is a bit shitty of them so we will get hunters jumping in but you know one shotgun shell to the bonce deals with them pretty easily or in fact you can get a gut shot on him you don't really need to fight any of the other guys we might actually go this way I might save state it after this because we did pick up the uh, acid rounds there where the other way we went we got nothing, so we don't really want to get nothing. Now, as for the shotgun in this game as well, it's it's not actually a short-range weapon. Uh, its range, quite like the pistol, is unlimited. It has perfect accuracy, so uh, you may as well just like blast them at any range. It matters not. There we go. Matters not. Right. Uh, oh, we also get a green herb going this way as well. Yeah, this might be the best choice, actually. And that literally is that. You know, it's such a short little path. Like, borderline pointless, really. And we've got some more hunters here. That's fine. One headshot. He's done. Uh, there's another hunter there. Let's see if we can snipe him with our shotgun. Nope, because apparently this wall was blocking our shots. And still blocking our shots, apparently. There we go. And he's gone, Chief. Yeah, I'm going to drop a safe state here. Just because I may actually keep that one to be honest that might be the way we go anyway let's check out our last other choice and I can't remember which safe state it is not that one that will be our continue point One second. 
Hey guys, um, I didn't want to do you guys dirty because you deserve better than that. So what I decided to do is load a earlier save state. I've actually just played all the way back up, up here, uh, which actually um, really, really didn't take that long. So why not? Right. So this is the other option we could potentially take. So let's go explore that, shall we? So this is like the forest area, we've already done the rocky area, we've gone underneath, which is probably my preferred area. But as you can see, yeah, uh, th this really is it. This is all this other path is. Um, they really kind of did phone it in big time. Uh, if you're expecting to see anything different happen, uh, you, you're going to be disappointed, sadly. Uh, it, it's a bit of a shame. Oh, hey, friend. I don't know how many of these guys are actually here. There is a lot of them. Oh, hey, friend. And because they're kind of way off in the background, sometimes, like, further than you can actually see, you can get shot by these guys without actually realizing what the hell's going on. And from what I can remember as well, I don't think there's anything this way. Now, eventually, you'll see laser targeters on you. And, unfortunately, that literally means that the enemy has got a bead on you. But you... It's, well, maybe you can shoot these guys, but they're way off into the distance. Uh, I don't know if it's even worth fighting them. So, we're not going to bother. But, yeah, I, I, I'm glad I decided to come back. Oh, hey, friend. To come back and do this, because... It probably would have really bothered me if I if I didn't, because uh, I I get bothered about silly things like that. All right, I think we're clear. I think it's like once we get yeah, there we go. You see that laser there. So the enemies are actually above us, I I guess in the trees if there are indeed any trees there, and they will try and shoot us. To be honest, I haven't actually tried shooting back. Because there's no point. And, and uh, yeah, that's it. That is it. And I, I really don't think there is anything here. No. Yeah, very disappointing, to be honest. Um, it's just like those three ways are just like a giant nothing burger. They could have just made an extended section where you go through all of those areas, which would have been, in my opinion, much better and more entertaining. But, I mean, what do I know, I guess? Oh, we're getting absolutely rendered by these guys. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, don't try and use your, um... Don't try and use your bloody, uh... You know what, we'll just go through it again. Don't try and use your handgun on these guys. It's literally a waste of time. I guess this might be the quickest path, potentially. Not really sure. I do remember there being an awful lot more of these guys, actually. If I'm being 100% honest with you. Um, we might squeeze another video out of this. I mean, you can see they're kind of pushing me and rolling me forwards. Because there's quite a lot of them behind me. But because they're behind us... We are actually invincible, like we've uh, explained before. But yeah, just... I don't know, man. Uh, I got a comment saying that they should have just left this as a light gun game. And... I can't remember who that was from, sorry. But... I mean, I get what you're saying. And... Maybe they should have. But there were a few of these games, from what I can remember on the um, PlayStation. Because on the G-Con, I think it was called the light gun, I know it wasn't available in America apparently because of a um, shooting tragedy that had happened. We're just gonna run past these guys. So they like banned light gun games or something. Uh, Reva was telling me about this. But over in the UK, it very much, oh, okay. There can be hunters here or there can be dogs here. We've got dogs. That's interesting. That's fine. We can just run past the dogs. Um, but it, I think at the time it was quite interesting to have like a light gun game. And I need to turn my headset down. Jesus. 
it was interesting to have a light gun game where you actually had some control and it wasn't on rails, so to speak. Uh, we are going to switch up to the shotgun here. Uh, how many shot? Well, we got 48. Yeah, because I didn't really use the shotgun much getting back up here. Basically, you know, tried to run through whatever I could. So, I guess we've saved a little bit of ammo. Um, I've already completed this game anyway. Uh, a week or so ago. At the time of this recording. And the final boss, like, you know, we're going to have a lot of ammo anyway. We could have had a lot more fun with the weapons. Like, as always with Resident Evil, uh, you know, you think ammo's at a premium. But at the end of the game, you've just got so much of it. There is plenty. Okay, so let's just... Uh, and because I've just, like, run through most stuff, I haven't really used a lot of health either. But again, you have plenty. I think we can only have one first aid spray at a time. I'm not really sure because... Oh, we've got a green herb there and a red herb. Okay. Let's mix those guys up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you can only have one, but because of the way... If we got five mixed herbs, I think we went into it, into the last boss before when I was playing it. Yeah, we got five. I think we went in with three, uh, and yeah, we didn't need them. So we needed like two, I think. Um, right. Yeah, so I have done a little bit better getting back here. But that's only really because I've been trying to be quick, been trying to run back here but yeah so having this full 3d almost adventure style with light gun mechanics was interesting but um it kind of became a janky mess because of that so i get what you're saying but we did get the light gun games with the wii which were and actually on the ps3 too if you had the move controllers ah! what now, interestingly enough, um, I think it's a lot better with the move controllers on the uh, PlayStation 3. Uh, because the Wiimotes for light gun games, like a lot of people praise them, but they were terrible. The Wiimotes are terrible. They're so inaccurate. Like if you point your Wiimote dead on at your TV, the a the, uh, your reticle was either about three or four inches higher than that. Or it was lower and no matter how much fine-tuning you did it was always off where the beauty with a light gun was especially with the G-Con and stuff like that and even the Dreamcast Dream Blaster uh, they were pixel perfect you know what you looked at dead on the screen is what you shot um, and I do miss those I do miss light guns they were fun anyway let's keep going so I, I have got the other games actually on the Wii. Oh, hey friend. But they're just very frustrating to actually play. Now this is interesting. Cheers for the punch to the back of the head, dude. When we get down here, there you can either find a T-03 uh, or it's full of zombies. I guess we got the T-03, which is fine. I wonder if he's going to drop ammo for us. No, I didn't think he would. Alright, well, here we have our Magnum. Oh yeah. The Magnum is very, very powerful, but there's so little ammo for it in the game, it's pretty crazy. So let's get this facility powered back up, and let's get moving. So yeah, this is obviously the final section of the game. Uh, we're probably not going to fit it all in this video because I have already 10 minutes of footage to add to the start of this video. Which I did a few days ago. But we're going to get as much of this facility done as possible. Hey, we have naked zombies. Now, these zombies in this room can be in randomized patterns. We got lucky there because we can just run down here and wipe them out. Sometimes... Uh, there are they're more spread out so you get enemies down in this corridor as well so obviously you can't hide down here so it's a little bit more of a tricky pattern but it's fine now I'm curious to see what ranking I'm gonna get 
when I completed it uh, last week or whenever the hell that was, I can't remember. Um, a little while ago, anyway. We actually we got an A rank, which I think is the best rank in the game. There's a lot of misconceptions that you can actually get an S rank, but that's only in Japanese versions. So, ooh, that blue switch. Oh, hey, sir. That blue switch we're going to have to be a little bit careful with. Let's switch up to the shotgun. And all... Oh, fuck me. Yeah, 48. So, did we... Ah, I might not have picked up all the magnum rounds, though. That's fine. 12 magnum... There's only... Well, I've got 12. There's only 18 magnum rounds in the game anyway. So, you know... Shotgun rounds um, depend a little bit. It depends. Come on, big boy. Ow. Yeah, shotgun rounds depend on how many um, extra shells you get from defeating the tyrants. Come on. Yeah, I actually do think... Uh-oh. Wow. Wow. I actually do think lickers are stronger than tyrants. Uh, tyrants? Hunters, funny enough. Uh, let's load that bad boy up. Switch back up to a handgun because why not? Alright, now remember that blue button because we will be back. Yeah, so um, basically the S rank on the Japanese versions of the games take over the ooh, take over from the S uh, A rank on everyone else's versions. Right, so let's grab the acid rounds. You have acid rounds. Yes, we do. And we have plants. Yes. I'm sure they uh, totally won't break out. Mm, looks like some kind of clean room. Ooh. Forgot about you, didn't I? That was silly. For some reason, I was expecting zombies. How much grenade ammo have we got? We've got 12 of those. So it's got 18. Um, yeah, we're pretty good. Unfortunately, this liquor here, he's one of the enhanced liquors. I can't remember what they're called. They're a lot stronger. Than the other ones, frustratingly so. But this is what we came for. We came for the bow disc. You've obtained the oh, sorry, the activation disc. And we hear lots of smashing in the room um, behind us. Totally nothing escaping from test tubes. Nah. So we have the factory workers' diary. August 5th, 1998. My god, the soundtrack for this game is so fucking loud I have to turn my headset down to basically nothing just so I can hear myself think uh, I can't stand it anymore I have to take the subjects to the operating table and sever their skulls to extract a part of their brain to do this over and over uh, day after day it's awful guilt stays with me all the time even after I go to bed. Well, yes, you are cutting young people's brains out of their skulls whilst they're still alive. That, yeah, that that's quite harsh. Commander Vincent instructs us, do not see them as humans. They are just raw material we use to create tyrants with. But it is we who cut their skulls. I can never consider them as just raw materials. They're humans, just like we are. I asked Commander Vincent about ways to reduce their suffering, but he ignored my requests, saying that by using anaesthetics, pure beta heteroneuroserotonin, fuck me, cannot be extracted. Even if it's the company's orders, I don't believe that we're doing what we're doing is ethical. No shit, Sherlock! Cutting open people's brains and extracting the juice whilst they're still alive. I'm fully conscious. Yeah. Yeah, probably not ethical. Yeah, you, you might be right there. I mean, I'm going to have to look it up in a book of law, but pretty sure that isn't ethical. I'm sure that I'll be sent to the worst possible place when I die. Mm-hmm. Quite possibly. 
or should, or perhaps should I say, I'm already there. there yeah, there's actually an interesting theory that some weirdo was talking to me. Uh, I say weirdo because this guy was, well, not quite all there. Uh, I, I meet a lot of uh, interesting, yeah, let, let's say that, interesting people at work. And this guy has a theory that this reality that we're living now is hell. And, uh, you know, we've already been bad and we're already dead and, and we're living in hell. Oh, we've got liquors coming down. He did go into some interesting details, which, to be honest, I wasn't really listening. But, yeah. Strange. Very strange. I thought, if this is as bad as it gets, then, eh. But then that's subjective, isn't it? Some people have it very, very bad. Okay. So, 15 rounds. But then I'm not religious at all. I'm an atheist, so, you know. Whatever. Right, anyway, let's load these guys up with bullets. Now, these are weak to fire, but they're, you know, like, <laughs> like everything else in this game, really. They're just weak. Uh, I think they can poison. No, these ones can't poison you. It's the darker color ones. Quite often, as you've just seen there, their attacks don't actually really do anything at all. So, you know, there's that too. Now, where are we? You'll also notice that we haven't been able to save the game yet. Uh, yeah. That's because... I can't remember if I said this or not, but there is no saving in this game. You have to complete it in one shot. I'm not sure why we pick up like, ink ribbons, because, like I say, to the best of my knowledge, there is no saving. So... Oh, hey, sir. You look like you're having a bad day. There you go. So I'm not sure, unless you need the ink ribbons to save at the end. So when I played it off camera, I completed the game in 1 hour 40 minutes. So that's the benchmark to beat. Uh, and like I said, we got an A rank, which I believe is the best rank we can actually get. I think it's just done on how many weapons you find, how many kills you get, and your accuracy. Uh, your time as well, probably. Ooh, this place is looking pretty spiffy. Oh, let's keep going around. What have we got here? Ooh, this looks fondleable. The power reactor is not working. An activation disc appears to be required. Well, it just so happens that in our pocket, we must be wearing some pretty big trousers, to be honest. It's a very dramatic cutscene here, showing us that zombies are escaping. Zombies, guys? We haven't seen those. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, yeah, we, we have. We've seen a couple. We've seen a few zombies before, I guess. Now, this is also a bit of a pain in here. Because you'll get zombies trapped in there. Now, as soon as we get into his path, he will instantly turn around and start trying to chew our face off. But we're not going to let that happen, so. It's all gravy, baby. Ooh, hello. Now, I do need to keep my ear out a little bit, because I'm hoping the parcel is going to arrive today. Uh, although, uh, I have received a letter saying... Uh, a letter. Listen to me like an old fuck. Um, I have received a notification saying that it might be late. I might not get it until tomorrow, but that's okay. It's nothing majorly exciting. It's just a new uh, shelf rack system that I'm going to put all my consoles on consoles that are in my recording setup anyway so uh, if it's a day late or a few days late yeah whatever anyway let's keep going just means that I can't leave the house <gasps> oh no terrible well technically tomorrow I can leave the house because the missus is home from work so hey getting the feeling that we're always getting these zombies come on now we could probably walk past these guys but where's the fun in that, honestly. There we go. Liberal amounts of bullets for everyone. There you go. Lovely. Who's next? You, apparently. Now, remember that big blue button? Yeah, I think we've got to go push the big blue button. I think we do. The memory of this gets a little bit hazy from here on. 
say it was uh, it was a while ago I can't exactly remember the day but life is just yeah, all the days roll into one you know nothing here okay boop yep now we push the beep boop boop the beep yeah we have some more plants hiding behind there and it looks like they've already devoured somebody which is rather unfortunate Poor unfortunate soul. Okay, let's switch around. Come on, plant bastard. Yeah, so fire rounds work best on these guys, apparently. In fact, should we try one? Just because we can. But what I find interesting about this game is your handgun is, like, rely... Oh, yeah, we're back up to 18. Um, your handgun is pretty rel reliably... Like the best weapon in the game. It has unlimited ammo and it's it really isn't that useless. Yeah, so one fire round, but like the effect isn't that fun. It would have been nice if they, you know, burst into flames in a spectacular fashion, kinda like Resident Evil 2, but they don't, sadly. It is a very mediocre kind of this uh, appears to be a researcher. He's not breathing anymore. Oh no. Well, we have uh, an ID card at least. We've seen a few of those in our time, haven't we? And we're probably close to 30 minutes now. We've inserted the ID card. Let's keep going. We'll save it in this room and then we'll come back. And then we'll finish it off in the next video. Oh, yeah, these gentlemen here are the poisonous variety. But, you know, as you can see, they're not really a threat. So, yeah, it, um, a little bit pointless, really. Anyway, I am going to end it here, guys, because we're probably over 30 minutes now with all the extra footage that I got stitched together for this episode. But, oh, uh, listen to the music. wait for it to get going it's awful it sounds like a tune I mean, it's not the fart track from the OG director's cut, I believe, for, uh, that the you guys in the States got, but it's pretty, pretty bad. I mean, Resident Evil's always... Oh, listen to it. It's when that weird horn starts blowing. Awful stuff truly awful stuff let's try and get back to that bit actually yeah anyway I could be here forever moaning about this uh, audio track but it's really really low effort like I say Resident Evil uh, traditionally apart from a few exceptions, has always had some good music, but this... No, they phoned it in, Chief. We don't even get a wicked um, save theme either. But uh. So, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.